snail kites are highly evolved. They are raptors, but their bills and their talons are evolved so that they can take advantage of snail prey that are found in wetlands. And so because of that, snail kites uh, only occupy wetland areas that occur in networks. And in the U.S., that only happens in South Florida. So for us living here, they're a really important species. Um, they're rare and they're totally unique. The next species that's like a snail kite is found in like um, Southeast Arizona. It's like the Harris's hawk. And they're a completely different species that lives in grasslands and agricultural fields in these rodents. Um, so it's fantastic to be able to see snail kites here. Yeah. So the snail kite was the first species to be listed under the Endangered Species Act, and that was in 1967. And at the time, we had a really poor handle on their population size because we needed to do more systematic surveys to really be able to compare what we, what we were counting between years. And so there's been a systematic program to survey them in place since about 1996. So we've watched their numbers kind of go down and then come back up a little bit. And today we're at about 3,200 is the total population size for Florida. And consequently for the U.S.